I forgot the intro I do for Ninja. Who are you? I'm Runny. I'm Paradox. And we are the G Crew, the 90s hip reboot of the G Cat. Hmm. Okay, so today we're doing a Minnesota again. But this time, Marvel movies. Throw you off with the Iron Man by John Favreau. I actually haven't seen this one the whole way through. Really? I know I'm going to get, like, crucified or something. I've seen, like, the beginning and uh, the, the ending, but I haven't seen the middle, mostly. So That's kind uh, of a I'm, weird way to watch wow. a movie. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, I, just, I, I catch it on uh, cable sometimes. I was, like, on five minutes film came out, so whenever I saw it, I fell asleep. <laughs> really? Do yeah, they yeah, even was, still play movies that old? Um, yeah. yeah, no, totally. I remember, like, I think they still play the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Huh. But, like, um, so, Iron Man, like, is it's really a beautiful starting point. And I feel like Robert Downey Jr. is the best casting thing the MCU has done. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. Sure. They could not have picked a better t- Definitely not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, except for Stanley as Stanley. Like, I oh saw, I didn't see that one coming, <laughs> but, like, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, Stanley <laughs> is the perfect Stan. There's no other but, Stan but, but yeah. Stan. Yeah. But, no, John Favreau's Iron Man is, like, really, really good. And it, it was the perfect way to start off a cinematic universe, because, did you guys know that they didn't even originally have the um, Samuel Jack uh, scene, the end credit really? scene? Yeah, that was added after the world premiere. Because giant success, like at the world premiere, they're like, all right, now we implement this to make it like, oh. because we know this movie's going to make money. Hmm. Oh, okay. So like, they had plans for it, but they weren't going to like, but they weren't completely going to tie him in. Yeah, they weren't Marvel pulling Ghostbusters on. 2016, where it's like, before the movie came out, they were like, Cinematic Universe, yeah, yeah. Okay, so like they had plans to make the entire cinematic universe, but yeah. they weren't originally planning on being successful. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Yeah, no, it, it it's like one of the things people overlook whenever they're trying to make a cinematic universe, mm-hmm. and that's sure. why most of them fail. Yeah. At least they look like they're a bigger failure than they actually are. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so. I guess, are we done talking about Iron Man for now? I feel like there's uh, not a whole lot to really say about it. It's a pretty good movie. It's a it, it's, great start. And it's really self-explanatory. Like, it's, everything that could be said about it has been said. Pretty much. You know, you know what no one talks about? What? The Incredible Hulk. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, I haven't seen this one all the way through either. I, I actually just it. saw it um, a year ago when... Uh, my brother does this, like, movie night thing with some of his friends, and I joined them, and they decided, they decided to go through the Marvel movies, uh, before going to see Infinity War, and I watched it with them, and that was the first time I ever saw The Incredible Hulk. Like, that movie. I've seen more of the movie in, oh, go ahead. No, that was it. Just, like, that's the first time I saw the movie, like, last year. See more of the movie in Spanish than in English. What? <laughs> what? How? <laughs> because it will not work. And I was just like, and like <laughs> my sister and I were just browsing channels, and like we were like, okay, let's just watch this. And like it was in Spanish, and we sat through five minutes of it, and then we realized it was in Spanish. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I guess not. And I've seen one sitting. I've saw. I've seen like the first two minutes of it. We're like, like Norton is just saying, I'm. In- I'm Mr. Blue. That's it. Let's. Oh, okay, I've seen all the I've seen all the scenes with the Hulk in it. You know, so like the big uh, the big action sequence with the tank. Yeah, and that's, that's probably one of the best parts the of the movie. And there's yeah. honestly not a whole lot great about it. I mean, yeah. I, that's kind of disappointing too because Edward Norton is one of my favorite actors. And he uh, actually he had like an can't... alternate. He had an alternate version of the movie that he had written. It was apparently better than what we got, and they turned it down. Really? 
it, yeah. it was because he wanted full control over the Hulk character, like whenever it came to the movie stuff. That's why he wasn't even in Avengers because he was just like, I, I want control over this. They were like, no, you can't, can't, you can't, you can't do this. This is teamwork here. Not I'm gone. They're like, okay, Mark, come over here. That's a talk for later in this. Mm. So that's why. Yeah, yeah. He did full creative control over Hulk. Uh, yeah, I mean that's not really something as an actor you, you can't. I mean. Just... I mean, you. I mean, I. I don't mind like giving actors some creative control and you know, like, let them control some things because that's that's still important. You know, like they have in the role and everything. Yeah. But I mean, they can't control it fully. You know, yeah. like that's. I mean, it's a kind of different show. circumstance if you look at like with Deadpool, and that's because Deadpool is so successful that Ryan Reynolds actually yeah. had like a lot of creative control in Deadpool too. But like if. He does. I think Edward Norton was being more of a dick than Ryan Reynolds like would ever be. Cause, like Ryan like seems like he works with like the director and all that. Edward yeah. wanted yeah. to go in a completely different direction. Hmm. Like they all sh- like, in Deadpool they all share division, but in Hulk and like Avengers and all that they so they just clash, but it adds a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So Iron Man two. Ooh. I haven't seen this one either, fully. Dude, <laughs> well, it's like suck out phase one. <laughs> it's like the first three phase one movies I haven't seen all of. I have seen enough of Iron Man 2, though. I will say that. I have seen... uh, it was good when it came out, but then looking back on it, I'm not... I don't like it quite as much as I used to. I, I feel like it's good as an Iron Man movie, but as like an overall like giant Marvel movie, it just lacks that oomph that like it needs. Why it just yeah. better than Iron Man and an MCU movie. Well, it, it just has to have like Iron Man finding an Iron Man villain, but it doesn't really have the world building. It does like, like in the long term, it has nothing big connect other well, than the retcon um, freaking Peter Parker. It doesn't establish anything big. Yeah, well, that's Black Widow. Yeah, but Black Widow like. You you could easily forget that she was in this movie and just say that she was first introduced in the Avengers. Yeah, pretty That's... much. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it did have Nick Fury. It. Yeah, it had Nick Fury like... while Tony was like under house arrest. But yeah. it, it, when looking at it, it, like I can point out any other MCU movie and tell you what greater effect this had in like the whole entire MCU. But I can't do that to Iron Man too. Because the only thing that I feel like it had was just the Peter Parker cameo that was retconned in. Yeah. What was it? And War Machine. I think everybody did. I think yeah, as far as world building, Iron Man 2 tried, but with what it did, it could have gone a little bit further, I think, maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it definitely gets overshadowed by its previous film in the predecessor yeah. it's just awkwardly there where it's like they couldn't really explore too much because that's because a cinematic universe wasn't the norm yeah, yeah they really weren't it was more yeah I, I see what you mean it was definitely more of an iron man sequel than an mcu movie yeah because that's i mean like then that's what they focused on and you get into like you get into future sequels except for thor the dark world i mean that has a little bit a connection to mcu but that's more like a Thor sequel than an MCU movie, but then, but then like other movies like Winter Soldier, um, even even Guardians Two, Civil like War. Guardians Two is like it works MCU movie as well. I feel yeah, yeah, yeah. it does it does connect more. But I, Iron Man Two, it definitely was at the point where it couldn't do what Cap, the Captain America sequel yeah. or um, or Thor I guess, Ragnarok. What, I guess what, yeah, yeah, Thor Ragnarok or, or Thor it, Ragnarok as a sequel. Equal to the incredible. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> That's the closest thing we're ever gonna get. Yeah, because yeah. Universal still has those rights. Speaking yeah. of Thor, Thor. Yeah, Thor. It's right. It's, it's it's good. I think Thor I think was like first... a little bit more than other people. Do. But it's definitely not one. 
think Thor was the first MCU movie I ever like actually watched in theaters where I didn't fall asleep. <laughs> it's also that was like the only movie seven? that everybody hates purely because of the camera angles. I oh, really I honestly don't really mind the cast. I feel like the cast but like it introduced freaking Tom Hiddleston as Loki. I mean Oh yeah. yeah. I wasn't talking about the cast, the camera angles was what I mentioned. Oh like, yeah, the Dutch, the Dutch angle angles. of the camera, like a lot of people hated that because it used it so much. But that like that's mostly just a product of phase because phase one really had directors doing what they wanted to do. Yeah. Like there weren't any set rules, so they I don't remember the camera angles. What exactly are you talking about? Dutch angles on like there's the camera degree angle. Or like a forty five. Mm. It's like where the camera's yeah, yeah. at a okay. tilt. So it's like not Yeah, yeah. So like, and yeah, I feel I feel like it works because, if from what I can recall, they only really used it in Asgard. They really create an alien feel to it. I mean, they're used a bit while he's on Earth as well. Another yeah, thing that people that didn't seem to no, oh, sorry. Another thing people didn't really seem to like is that while he was on Earth, there wasn't anything interesting to see. They were just kind of in a desert. I feel True. like, yeah. though, comparing to other MCs movies like a desert's a good mix up compared to New York. Yeah. And like New yeah. York again. And New York again. Yeah. I'll look at New York. Stage. Again, like it's a it's at the stage where the MCU is like literally just beginning. Yeah. So, you know, if, if they use a desert scene in uh a future movie, like if Thor was in three, it would have worked out in because, phase one. Yeah. And this one also kind of had the thing where like Nothing really momentous happened outside of introducing. Mm -hmm. Like I guess the destroyer was like mentioned one like a few times in Avengers, but other than that, nothing really is mentioned of this movie in the MCU. Yeah. So you could just skip this one. Pretty much. Yeah, I mean, well, they did have. I, I was gonna say the Tesseract, but that was that was Captain America. So never mind. It was just basically introducing Loki and. Yeah. And like the whole concept of like otherworldly yeah. in Earth. Speaking of, isn't so, Captain um, America next? Yes, it is. Yeah, but Segway. Oh, this one's really Again. small. It's a solid movie. Oh um, yeah, it's no, exactly the same boat as Thor. It's good, but it's not. I have great, to say that it's to, like, quite a bit better than Thor because, like, it takes Captain America and one makes him kind of interesting, which. This is a problem people had with the hero before that he was kind of uninteresting. And like yeah. they also kind of parody like his whole creation where it's just like that's like a propaganda thing. Yeah. And then it's just like mm -hmm. Oh look, he's literally propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that bit when he was just uh he was just going around on tour with this really goofy costume. It's really goofy comic book costume. And all it was and was the, like uh, a stunt to try and get people to buy more mountain. war stocks. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, I did like that bit. Like, but of overall, course, Chris Evans entering the MCU was really great. Yeah. yeah. Very great, yeah. What do you guys think of his casting by like, Chris I Evans is America? I honestly can't really imagine anyone else as Captain America. Definitely yeah. not. Honestly, like, people, yeah, people talk about Robert Downey as Tony Stark as being, like, the the big great. And you know he is. Robert Downey the best. And if you don't think Chris that, he Stevens will tell you otherwise. Comes close. You can probably make a good argument for Samuel Jack as being one of the yeah. best casting. That's because the role was literally made for him. <laughs> really like, nothing against Sam Jackson, but he's like a big character in just about every movie he's in, so it's like... Mm -hmm. But yeah. do you guys know the story of the ult of like um the Ultimate Universe's... Uh, no, what about it? So, um, in the Ultimate Comics, they need to redesign Nick Fury to fit the Ultimate Universe. So they literally just drew Samuel Jackson into the comics. 
He was reading. <laughs> he was just reading the comics one day, and he's like, "Hey, that me." He called up Marvel, and he's just like, "I'll allow you to use my." As long as any time you're going to have Nick Fury in the film, I get to play him. That's I think awesome. I remember hearing about so, that actually. So like the role he's literally built for him. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. That. Speaking of Nick because, Fury. But anyway, about Captain America, uh, story's definitely good. Red Skull wasn't really uh, he was he wasn't really important until later on the MCU. But like. But, yeah. uh, I, but, like, the whole movie, as part of the MCU, is really important because of the Tesseract. Yeah. And it's and a really good shake-up because it's, it's the only movie that he said in the past that I believe is good. Yeah. Really? It's kind of yeah. more believable than any of the others that we've seen. Actually, and, look, it makes like, sense how many of why it needs to be said in the past. Yeah. Isn't uh, there only, like, maybe one or two others... Yeah. Just one other. And that's Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel uh, which we'll talk about oh, later. Yes. Yeah. Um, so. I don't, know. I don't know what I was saying. Never mind. Go ahead. So, I guess we're going to have to mention the big. Oh, yes. Avengers! Yeah, yeah. Whenever you whenever you edit this, just have the trumpet it just slowly like build up. Okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> to playing the Avengers theme. Alright. Anyway, this <laughs> Oh no, no contest. Avengers is like one of the best MCU films. Yes. Yeah. This is actually I think the first MCU movie I I, I watched. This is the very first one. Cause, you know, like everybody was super hyped up about it, and I, I remember uh, I didn't I didn't used to watch superhero movies. All I would watch was like cartoons and stupid kids comedies. Because I was these movies because they were too violent. I think for me, I, I thought they were too violent for me. But then I but then I watched it. I was like, but then I watched the trailer for the Avengers, and I was like, hey, that looks pretty dope. I want to watch that. Yeah. So I waited until after. Until after it was out, it was out in theaters. Like uh, after after it left, and then I got it at like Redbox, and I, I remember hmm. I watched it. I watched it like three times, and I love. Oh yeah, every like every single time I watch the Avengers, I get goosebumps. Like the scene whenever they're all in the circle just gives me like. Mm, oh yeah. Because like the trumpets are like blaring, and like it's it's something that just works really well. Yeah. Probably yeah, my one. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. No, I wasn't saying anything. Oh, I Go thought ahead. you were saying something. I was gonna say my problem. My only complaint about Avengers is that they killed off Coulson and made a whole big deal out of it, and then he comes back in the TV series. But that isn't really a problem with the Avengers because I don't think Joss Whedon with the TV series. Yeah, I could be wrong. But yeah, like... I mean, he's not back in. You. Uh, casual audiences won't even know, know about it, so to them, he's still dead. Yeah, but I, I do see where Paradox is coming, because, like, it makes a lot of deaths just feel, like, half-hearted. Like, no. I remember as soon as, like, Quicksilver died, he, it was like, okay, when are they going to bring him back? Pretty much, yeah. He's not... Like, um, the, the, no, fact that they, the fact that they cheated death with Coulson, and, like, it was such a heart one just makes audience does not care about death yeah i mean especially the fact that this franchise can't go on if anybody permanent well aside from quicksilver can't go on if anybody like really permanently dies yeah i mean do you know in the comics how many like important characters and how many times they've died yeah superman batman Mm -hmm. hasn't died yet I love how the died. first two characters you mentioned oh, aren't even Marvel no, characters. No, Batman hasn't died yet. Are you, has there not been a single point in time where Batman has been presumed? Or no, per- if there presumed, has, it yes. wasn't a part of the main yeah. continuity. No, it was. It was. Yeah. It was. Um, I believe. Uh, um, no, wait. Actually, Dark Side shot him with this 
the Omega Beams, but he went back in time. And he was just time hopping. <laughs> he was like a pirate, a Victorian era like person. Like he was just jumping throughout so many different time periods, but he wasn't. That's awesome. And, Wait, no, actually, I, I just thought of uh, I, I just thought of one time. Uh, it was it was a comic series where you know Batman and Dick Grayson had to take over as Batman. Battle for the Cow. It was was it Tim Drake? Was Robin or was it Damien? It was Damien. Damien was, was Robin, and Cal, then whatever. Tim Drake. Yeah. Tim Drake was Red Robin. Yeah, and um, and Jason's Red Hood. Uh, Red Hood. Yeah. So yeah, Avengers. Then, okay, yeah. Go back to Avengers. We got a little sidetracked, but uh, good movie. Yeah, I've, how many times have you guys seen? I've seen. I think. Four solid times. Uh, I just I don't watched remember it how many few, times I've seen it. Just watched it an hour ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's the only Avengers movie I don't own on like any home video format, hmm. and, and it really annoys me. Yeah, you gotta get on that soon. I'm going I've seen to. this movie maybe like, like you know, back back when it first came out in 2012, 2013, when it was hot, everybody was watching it. So I just, I, I just like, um, I just watch it in a bunch. of people would just turn it on and mm. we would sit down and watch it all the time. Oh, so I've yeah. seen it seven or eight times. I think I've seen it a lot. It's one of those movies that I want to watch with the commentary track just to see you, uh, just to watch everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, it's one of those movies. It's like a really easy, it's a really easy movie to rewatch. Like there's some movies that I just can't bring myself to go back and rewatch watch again but the avengers is like it's really entertaining yeah. like i can just sit down and watch it pretty easily and it's not one of those films where it's like it's so good that like like i can avengers from any like point where it's at and like be able to watch it with the same thing but if i watch the movie really 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 good like i just love it i can't watch it just from the middle i have to watch it from the start to the end mm-hmm. yeah but with avengers it's just so rewatchable and like movie that like i can watch it anywhere anywhere yeah yeah so the pacing is really fast it's it's, it's quick pacing but they they managed to make it really uh they they, they do really good with the with the timing I yeah think. like 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 with all the time they're given like in scenes and stuff they do really good at establishing everything and getting everything they need to to have a complete movie while at this same time making it really entertaining with a lot of action packed in yeah, and I think it's I think it's really. So, what were you gonna say, Paradox? Yeah, I was gonna ask if there were any final thoughts on uh... the best. So, like, I, I'm I figure it's safe to say the best movie um, phase is definitely Avengers. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the I, worst I would... is Incredible oh, Hulk. Like, like you said, a, a stat companion. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, I guess so. like yeah, there's no really fighting yeah, Avengers, yeah. and like Incredible is barely an MC MC. <laughs> yeah. Like one character is like even back in the MCU, and a few events were even like reckoned. Mm-hmm. I mean, General Ross did come back in Civil War, but was that was that the same? Yeah. Was that the same General Ross? As, okay, yeah. it was. Hmm. That's okay, so that's like, the one, like, that's like the one thing that came from Incredible Hulk, isn't it? Yeah, pretty yep. much. Yep. Yeah, so it's barely MCU. Oh yeah, no, it had a, I think there was a little, like, three-frame cameo of Captain America in the ice. Wait, mm-hmm. really? Yeah, I think it was, like, for three Dang, or, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's, it's a blink and you'll miss it. Thing. Yeah. So, anyone else got any? I think that's it for me. Mm-hmm. All right. Not really, phase one is well. I guess we should say like phase one, definitely solid. It's a good starting point for the MCU, but it's definitely you know a few the, bumps. Uh, it's definitely not the high point that phase or are. I think it's a solid. Like, if there's any phase I could say had the most consistent quality, it it would be this one. Yeah. I mean, except for Iron Man two. I, I almost said Iron Man 2. I mean, Iron Man and Avengers. I mean, oh, everything yeah. else is kind of subpar. Then Iron everything Man and else Avengers. was just and, all right, but the beginning and end were 
just yeah 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 all right started good got slow in the middle and then ended great yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for watching